Hello you guys, so I am doing a voiceover today. This look is more of like make it up as you go, so it only makes sense to do a voiceover. I'm using this face paint that I got at the dollar store, which sucks so bad, um, but I ended up combining it with my BB cream, which is like the lightest BB cream I have. It just felt so much better because the face paint was so drying, so when I mixed it with my BB cream, it felt smooth and easy to apply. So as you see, um, you can tell that I'm putting my BB cream with the face paint, um, combining it on my hand and applying it on my face so it's evenly distributed and pigmented throughout my face. And now I'm using Too Faced um, primer <laughs> and putting it all over my eyelid, just prepping it for my eyeshadow. Um, but before I put my eyeshadow, I am going to do my eyebrows. Uh, I used a black eyeliner for my eyebrows, which was a little crazy, but I am going for the gothic look, so yay. Yeah. I like to blend my eyebrows um, towards the inner brow outwards, so it gives it this nice gradient fading effect. I am now also contouring with my Angora Press Powder. Um, the brand is Rockin' Republic, and I am going to do the E technique where it contours my cheeks, my jawline, and my forehead. And I also do a little bit of my neck, so it kind of just like fades um, in, I guess, if that makes sense. I love contouring. Contouring is my life. I do have a more prominent um, jaw structure, so I guess it's more of like a square. <laughs> Not really a square, an oval, I don't know, but contouring just makes my face look a lot slimmer. I am now going over with the Angora um, with a black eyeshadow. I am going for the gothic look, so black does not phase me. I'm now also going to take the black eyeshadow from Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics and putting that underneath my eyes. Like I said, I'm going for the goth look, um, and I guess I'm going a little bit for the person who doesn't sleep and has a crap load of dark circles look. And then I'm also going to take some of the reds and putting it underneath the black um, circles. I also contoured my nose, so yeah, I guess I went for the bruised look. Then I am taking NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and kind of just putting that all over my eyelids. And then I'm taking the NYC, um, I think it's in black, I don't know, this also Jumbo Pencil and putting that over my eyelids on top. So don't worry if it's a little messy, like even throughout everything is because I am actually going to be blending like so and I'm blending more on the bottom. So just to give it this nice um, fading effect, I guess I keep saying that word, but that's what blending is for. And then I winged out my eyeshadow and went over with this pencil that I had. Then obviously putting my falsies on, and oh my god, it's going fast. And then I put this white um, eyeshadow in the inner tear duct of my eyes, and then Sin uh, for my lippy by Mac. It's more of this darker color. Then you can you're gonna see that everything's pretty much messy, but <laughs> it's fine. The messier the better. So we will go on ahead. So I busted out my Lime Crime Lippy, which is in Stiletto. I didn't even flip that, but it is in Stiletto. <laughs> and it's basically black. It gives it this nice, nice like leathery kind of look to my lips. 
So I did combine it with um, Sin, so it had more of like a darker black-ish red color. Um, I did put it more in towards like my inner lip rather than my whole whole lip, so it kind of had this like thing where I had black more in the inside rather than outside. It's kind of like an ombre, if that, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. And this is my final look. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It was a little too fast, <laughs> but um, yeah. Hope you enjoy. And I will do the next look coming soon, which is Medusa. So stay tuned.